Madam Zuma is with us this morning. We've just been chatting about uh, going to movies and uh, Taken 2 is something on her bucket list to see. Mm -hmm. But you've also been very, very busy traveling around not only the country, around the world as well. As well. You got the opportunity to meet uh, the Queen. Yes. What was that experience like? Well, it was a unique experience, I must say. And I got to know the other side of her and that is she's very motherly mm. so she is motherly it's she's not just the image warm. She she's very motherly she would come to my bedroom in the morning to find out if i slept well and um if i enjoyed breakfast so i, I, got, I went wow so she's not what you see on mm. the screen and you know read on the papers she's she's quite warm and your experience with her while you were traveling the uk mm -hmm. what was that like it was it was exciting because people were we so excited um, around the UK to, to to have us there and it was it was breathtaking, amazing and really for me there is so much also that um, that is common between our country and London. Like what? Like driving. The driving. Yeah, driving. The yeah. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, for me it was a home away from home. Now the big question that is on everyone's lips and everyone wants to know this, what is it like being married to the President of South Africa? Oh, it, it comes with its own demands. <laughs> it's not easy because you need to adjust your, your, your lifestyle and, and accommodate things like security and what have you. And it's a huge responsibility as well because um, I think you need to be visible. You need to use your, your unique position of influence wisely uh, to champion issues that are close to your heart. Well, Madam Zuma, we are going to be chatting to you again a bit later on. We're actually going to invite you to have fun in our espresso kitchen. And see to it. what our president's favourite meal is. So stay with us here on Espresso.